for an axe trick, I will need a shuffle pack of playing cards. And for this trick, I'm just going to take the pack of playing cards, dribble them, and whenever this pack to the, wants to stop me, he should stop me, and we're just going to memorize the card. So, please call out stop. Stop right there. Okay. Now, we are not going to look at this facing up card. We are going to take a look at this facing down card. So, I'm just going to cut it to the top. And uh, once I have shown you the card, I just want you to memorize it. In this case, we would have here the Six of Diamonds. So, please memorize the card so I can just take it and place it into my pocket so you can see it the whole time. Now, at this point, I want you to concentrate on the deck. If I just take my hand and wave it over the deck, you can see that the whole pack changes to a red color. And not only the pack, also the Six of Diamonds, which had a blue back color, changed to red. And this trick, it happens too quick. So, here is the explanation for this trick. For this trick, you will need a blue card and you will need a red deck. Okay? Now, your setup looks like that. You have the blue card facing down on top of the pack. And if you want, you can just place the pack into a blue box, okay? So, don't place this pack in a red card box. Now, once you have taken the cards out of the blue box, you show the cards, okay? Only the top cards, so you're holding the deck in the mechanics grip. So, this pack here thinks that you have here a blue pack of playing cards. Now, once you have shown the deck, you just turn the deck so the pack hitter can see the faces of the cards and you look at the backs. Now you just have to overhand, uh, overhand shuffle the cards. Okay? And you just take the cards, you hold them like so. Okay, You take all the cards underneath the blue pack, not all the cards but about a half of the cards, so you still maintain the blue card on top of the pack and shuffle those cards on the deck, okay? And by doing that, you really shuffle the cards, but the blue card maintains on top. Okay, so one more time, you're holding the card in this position, your thumb is on top, and the other four fingers are underneath. You just press on the blue card, and by doing that, you just take maybe a half of the cards or a third of the cards, take them, okay, so the blue card is still on top, and shuffle those two cards. Okay, and it really looks like you're shuffling the cats, and of course this pack that you can just see the faces of the cats. Now, once you have done that, you're going to force this blue cat, but you're not going to do it facing down because otherwise this pack that you would see the red cats. You just turn over the pack, okay, and now you just catch a break underneath the blue cat, okay, and you can use a riffle force, or in my performance I use the dribble force, to force this blue cat, okay? And if you perform the dribble force, be careful not to flash the red cards as you're dribbling, okay? Now, once this pack has said stop, let's say stop right here, it doesn't matter, you have to force the blue card. You say that you're not going to look at the facing up card, you're going to look at the facing down card, okay? Now you just cut it to the top, and as you're talking to this pack hitter, you just have to catch a break underneath the top two cards, okay? And then you say to this pack hitter, please memorize the blue card, okay? And you take the double, and as you show it, you just turn the deck towards yourself, so the pack hitter is not able to see this red card. So in full speed it would look like that. Please memorize this card, okay? Now, once this pack hitter memorizes this card, you just do this move, okay? And the reason for that is, you, you do this once, twice, and then you steal the blue card. Okay, so it, it's a very easy move. As you're showing it, you just do this move. Okay, and as you do it the third time, you just take it. Okay, be careful not to do it really hard because otherwise you would hear this move, uh, this sound. Okay, so very slowly. Okay, and by doing that, I've already the blue card on top of the pack. Okay, now you're just left with the three of clubs in a red color, and now you just place it into your pocket so this pack here you can see it the whole time. And at this point, you just have to perform any change you wish. But at the end of the change, you should have the blue card at the second position, or you should have it underneath the pack 
facing down or facing up, it doesn't matter. So maybe you could perform the Cardini change or you could perform the Ego change or let's say you have a double backed card so it has a red color on both sides and then you could just take the two cards and perform the shapeshifter change so it would look like the top card changed red or anything like that. Okay, in my performance I use a Splicer by Zach Miller. Okay, you can buy it on Tier 11, it's on the wire. And yes, but at the end you should just have it in the second position or underneath the pack. Now, after you have performed the change, you just spread the cards, be careful not to flash the blue card, and then you just say that there is only one card which just happens to be blue, but then you just say that it changed to red. And that's basically the end of the trick. I hope you enjoyed it. You just have to practice the part where you have to change the card, but that's the only hard part of this trick. And that's basically it. I hope you enjoyed it. And I see you next time.